Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dewey and today we're going to be taking a look at the PowerBlock Pro Series adjustable dumbbells, expandable from 5 to 90 pounds. This first section is an unboxing, and the reason I decided to keep this section in the video was because I know some of you guys like it, and for myself, I also like to know what to expect as I'm opening up a new package. With so many fake power blocks on the market right now, it would suck to spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars on a set of dumbbells that potentially aren't even safe. So hopefully as you watch this section, it gives you a good idea of what an authentic set looks like as you're out there shopping. This next section is a compilation of some close-up shots. I also wanted to point out one of the biggest changes between the old and the new versions. On the original power blocks, there were two additional bars by a wrist that didn't really serve any purpose other than to add strength. They were covered in a foam that didn't feel very robust, and there wasn't really any room to actually grab the dumbbell by those bars to work out with them. So I really like the new design. They still feel plenty strong, and the added room for your wrist feels really nice. The mechanism to add or remove the adder weights has also changed. They did simplify the design and because of the new position of the lever, if you forget to close it, once you put the dumbbell back into the weight stack, it will automatically close for you. A nice touch for sure. On the older versions, you're also not able to use the bottom bars that house the adder weights for anything because there's just no room for your thumbs. But as you can see on the new versions, there's plenty of room and I actually use this grip quite often as you'll see in the next section. For the next few minutes, I'll just be working out. Hopefully the exercises that I was able to film myself doing will give you a better idea of what you are capable of doing with these dumbbells.
I was never planning on having this last section. The initial plan was to build a rack that could house both my kettlebells and my dumbbells, but with the price of wood through the roof right now, I opted to buy a dumbbell stand instead. The stand I decided to buy was a Powerblock large column stand. It is made in the USA, supports two 90 pound dumbbells, and has storage for the adder weights. It seemed perfect, right? It wasn't until I started loading on the weights that I noticed how much the entire stand flexed. Now from photos, I was always under the impression that the stand was completely made from wood, but the base is actually made of plastic and the rest of the stand is made from thin sheet metal. Now the stand is totally usable, but I wouldn't recommend using it with anything more than the 5 to 70 pound set because there are some design flaws. The biggest flaw is that you can't comfortably grab the selector pin if you want to lift the entire stack. Now obviously you can still move it, but as you'll see later on in the video, other companies have figured this small detail out. The next flaw is that the stand just flexes way too much. Now I don't believe that the stand will break or even fall over, but it does feel cheap and I would recommend looking at other options. The stand I ended up switching to was actually cheaper and much sturdier. Another small detail is that you will need to apply the grip tape and power block logo yourself. Now it is really straightforward to do, but the grip tape does feel quite cheap. The next stand I decided to buy was the Northern Lights Medium Dumbbell Stand. It was a recommendation from a friend and I'm glad I made the switch. Now at the time of this video, the price has increased quite dramatically, but I do still think that it is worth it over the power block large column stand. As you can see, the stand is much sturdier as it is made from 14 gauge steel. They also fixed my two other gripes with the power block stand. The grip tape has been replaced by a thick mat that is pre-applied from the factory and they have a cutout on the side of the stand so you can move the selector pin more easily. I hope this video helps you decide whether you should buy the new or older style power blocks, as well as what to look for in a dumbbell stand. But that's it from me today. As always, thanks for watching and stay safe.